Power is restored to most of KUB customers. You can see who's out right now and the bulk of them in South Knoxville. You see that red dot on your screen as we zoom into that. That's the bulk of the outages. As of 10 o'clock, roughly more than 2,500 people do remain without power, but again, focused in South Knoxville there. KUB does credit its linemen with restoring power quickly to customers. 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez spoke with some today about their work and how they're preventing future blackouts. Obviously, line work is typically one of the most hazardous jobs that you can have, so safety is a priority. As another severe weather system approaches East Tennessee. Uh, we've had several storm preparation meetings already today, uh, unsure of, of what this wind may do, uh, but we're ready. Winds in Knoxville reached as high as 55 miles per hour on Tuesday, posing the risk for downed trees and power lines. You, you can have uh, trees that are dead and you may anticipate them falling, but we will also oftentimes have live trees that are falling. So just a lot of concerns about what's overhead. Across the region, line workers are being called to action to repair power outages as they come. Well, I, I think in the end, that's that's one of the most critical roles that we, we play as, as linemen is that storm restoration. Stephen Prophet is an experienced lineman and says the unselfish response by crews is a testament to their character. What they sacrifice to serve our customers, to serve our community. Uh, not looking for accolades, not looking for spotlights. They, they just want to they want to get the lights back on as quickly and safely as they can. It's a job that comes with risks. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 22 electric line workers died in 2022. Just uh, always, always appreciate the sacrifice of, of what our linemen, line workers uh, give during these events. A sacrifice that is paid off when they bring power back to your neighborhoods. I don't know that there's a better feeling than being able to turn the lights on and hear the kids cheer. Uh, you know, the folks come out and, and say thank you. Yeah, and they work in the worst weather. Aaron joining us now. Let's talk about how we can all stay safe if we do encounter any down power lines, Aaron. John, KUB officials say if you encounter a down power line, to stay back and call your local utility provider as soon as possible. Back to you, John. Yeah, you never know if it's active. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate